This is a HeadGum Podcast. Now on today's program, it's another team-up movie along the lines of such great films as Batman vs. Superman and Freddy vs. Jason. Well, this is Alien vs. Predator. I'm Andrew Jupin. Versus Steven Sadak. Versus Chris Cabin. Versus Eric Siska. <laughs> and we hate movies. Welcome to We Hate Movies. Thank you for tuning in. As always, this is our 301st episode. Wow. How about that? This train just keeps moving, man. This is Alien vs. Predator, or AVP as the fans call it. And the, and the lazy-ass poster art called it. Av. 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 Uh, from 2004, directed by renowned, world-renowned filmmaker Paul W.S. Anderson. Oh, my Lord. I mean, yeah, that guy just racks up the hits. You know, yeah. Magnolia. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, God, The Master. Like, the Master, mm. Boogie Nights. Mm. Inherent and Vice is, mm. is really oh, great. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Oh, wait, complete, wait. I, I, sorry, I, I made up the show notes wrong. That's, um, that's Paul Thomas Anderson, PTA, did those oh, movies. And this is Paul W.S. Uh, Anderson? Anderson? Yeah. Oh, my God. I loved Moonrise Kingdom. <laughs> yes, it's oh, actually, yeah. it's, it's Paul William Sadler Anderson. <laughs> William Sadler Anderson. He's, oh, my God. If you open his shirt up, he's got like a little William yeah. Sadler It's like Quato from yes. uh, oh, fucking Total Recall. Ew. Yes. Yeah. Ew, that's so disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Well, Paul W.S. Anderson, man, we're talking a bunch of them. They're Resident Evil movies, the right. film Postal. Uh, uh, the uh, Three Musketeers, the most wait, recent Postal? Three Musketeers remake. Wasn't that Yuva Ball? Oh, that was Yuva Ball. Sorry. Mortal Kombat. Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat was Event Paul Horizon. W.S. Anderson. Event Horizon. His that's only good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and there's yeah. a lot of garbage there. I don't remember at all. No, it's all just... He know. secretly makes, like, Soldier. five movies in ten years. Soldier. Oh, did he Soldier. direct Soldier? Soldier? I believe so. Oh, Was God. he in any of these Resident Evil? No, he did all of them. I he did all of them. Or, or no. Uh, he like, did some of them. He, he, did, he did a good chunk. He's, like, producing a lot of these. He's married to Mila Jovovich. Wow, it's like, yes. it's like a family franchise. Mm, it's huh. a whole family of terrible. Hey, come on over for the summer. We're making another Resident Evil. Come on. Yeah, bring the kids. We're just making another Resident Evil. It's not a big deal. Allie Larder, you're living in our basement. <laughs> Just, yeah, you, well, we'll make up the couch for you. We'll make another Resident Evil movie. We'll uh, <laughs> play some board games. We're going to fry some, fry up some steaks. You won't have to think about your husband who left. I mean, you really would only need, like, a small hanger with just green screen all over <laughs> yeah. it to make those movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah. actually does not... Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's about totally right, true. I think. Uh, so this film was released theatrically. In, it was in, because you demanded it, right? Yes. This is the movie everybody wanted that nobody wanted. Yeah, well, this is a case of, like, someone somewhere made a comic book decades before, and then it was like, hey, you know what sounds pretty cool? That comic book nobody talks well, about anymore. In Predator 2, there was the right. alien skull, which kind of kicked it all off. Yeah, it's it kicked the, off the the clock to wait and for this. You know movie. what? I was kind of among them. I got us because I was like, I like these Predator movies. <laughs> I like them. I want more Predator. Well, it's just weird though because I realized I've I've seen all of these right. Yeah. So I've seen like the AVP Requiem, which is a better movie than this movie. Sure by I've far. seen all the Aliens, all the Predators. See our live episode on Predator Two, live from Chicago, by the way. Um, but what I realized that was why this shit doesn't work, at least for me, is like. These are two different kinds yeah. of science fiction movies. And just because they're two things doesn't mean they should be two things in the same movie. I agree with that. They should have never put them together. But also, like, it's not even, like, you don't even, like, at least with the horror, like, you know, Freddy versus Jason, sure. they're doing very similar things. Like, yeah, there's yes. more yes. surreal mm. stuff in Freddy and a lot more boob-tastic stuff in Jason. And, but, you know, <laughs> we're, we're having fun. And there's no history of how Freddy used to torment Jason <laughs> yeah. as a little child, uh, as this one. That's the problem with this. Well, there's, actually, there's, that movie totally has that because doesn't it posit? I thought that was a dream sequence. Yeah. He, oh, no, is it? He's like, I'm in your nightmares. Oh, I'm he wasn't actually? A kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's fake. Oh, that's oh, fake. I'm molesting you. Look out, Counselor Jason. Oh. Diddle, diddle, diddle. Careful with the fingers. Uh, oh, jeez oh. Louise. Mm. 
Mm. I'm sure in one of those sequels he has a careful with the fingers joke somewhere. I'm sure. I'm sure one of them's got it. I forgot to clip. <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal. Now that no one's listening. Sure. Yeah. Let me tell you what I made this month. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Steve, I think you were saying something and I interrupted you. No, that's uh it's um neither it, it like alien is a very specific thing. It's a blue collar in space situation. Right. Uh oh, here comes some aliens. That's what it always kind of needs to be falls somewhere within that. Yes. Whether we're in prison, whether we're Marines, whether we're just uh, space truckers, any of that stuff yeah. works. Uh, like and it's, meat and potatoes. It's yeah. the future, and, it, and we're in the fucking space. We're millions mm. of miles away from Earth. Yeah. Predator, you know, kind of goes around. You know, you're you're a big beefy dude. You could be a big beefy lady, I'm sure. And you're just like you're the perfect, uh, you know, specimen for the pre- the predator to hunt. Well, also I mean, in the jungle or an urban jungle. At least the first movie, you yeah. know, that's like present day. Yeah. And the second one, it's like a bogus, like five years or two years from when the movie came out or whatever. Like, what is it? It's 1997, yeah, and the movie yeah. came out like 92 or something. So, like, whatever. That doesn't exactly oh, jibe good, with it. But that's a good question. So, is this like in this 2004? Is it 2000? Is it only seven years after no, Predator I d- Two? I, d- I don't think what, Predator you know. Two exists in this timeline. I see. Because in this movie, like the because world seems the, to be fine. They stopped Waylon from getting the sports almanac. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another thing that I just I don't like how we're explaining parts of that. I mean, the, oh, they do God, that in Prometheus. Yes. Everything, yeah. sweet Jesus. I don't need it. Like all this backstory that get, that's what always hampers this. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't care. And you're right that this is these are two very different movies and yep. franchises. But I, if you had just had them brawling <laughs> and just killing each other, and this was a real bloodbath. Mm-hmm. It was just a I, snuff film. Uh, yes. <laughs> Full video drum it. If that had happened, I would have liked it. I, I, I at least would have been like, okay, you served up what I was expecting. Right. What, you know, it'd be ballsy if it was a silent film where it's like there's no humans at all. It's just aliens and predators and neither of them really talk. Like maybe subtitled of the predator. It's like oh. apocalypto with fucking aliens. <laughs> I thought you meant like a silent film with like clinky clank <laughs> piano. <laughs> Do, 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 like Dryer's Vampire, yeah. <laughs> the there, there, the Predator's robbing in a train car. <laughs> yes! No, 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 there's aliens in that chest, not gold doubloons. <laughs> you tie an alien to uh, uh, train tracks. Yep. Yeah. Well, also, because the other thing is, you're taking these two franchises and putting them in a movie, in a setting anyway, that just is aping another classic science fiction horror film, which is The Thing. Yeah, like yeah. you, you show me a fucking alien in Antarctica. Guess what movie I wish I was watching? It's the thing. There's a lot of Jurassic Park here a lot going of Jurassic on. Jurassic Park. It's just it's a melange of like better movies that just aren't here. Like there's no heart. Here. Well, we also open in 1904 where <laughs> the predator shows up and starts hunting like prospectors. The whaling. Well, well, wait a second. So here it comes because I just rented this on. Amazon, the uh-huh. PG thirteen oh theatrical cut. I don't know what the fuck you're talking. about. Are you about. serious? Oh, and wow. I saw this movie in the theaters. I do have a fucking hilarious story about working at the multiplex when this movie came out. But yeah, I just saw the theatrical. There is. I was like, what is he talking about? I have a. I have this on Blu-ray because when we moved into my apartment in Jersey City, we didn't have Wi-Fi for a week, so we just went to to uh, Best Buy and just bought a bunch of cheap Blu-rays. Oh, oh shit. I never saw this one. You became it. one of those people. Exactly. It was like, oh, oh this looks fun. That looks fun. Oh, this was stupid, but I liked it though. <laughs> exactly. It was like thirty <laughs> DVDs. <laughs> Behind was, Enemy Lines 2. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was that thing. It was, that was the week, man, because we, we'd watched, like, all we had was, like, Star Trek, the motion picture, and it was like, well, I've watched that <laughs> twice. Let's get let's get going. Wow, yeah. No, yeah, so pl- uh, please elaborate. It's just, like, I think it's supposed to be Antarctica. And it is. An- it's the whaling. It's the place that they end up eventually. Yes. Right. Oh, so yeah. it's that village it's before that. Yeah. it was There's this rundown. little intro thing, and it's just, like, it's one of the cuts that was made for the right reason. Mm. It does nothing for the story. No, I disagree. This was actually my favorite moment of the film. Because you thought it was over right after. <laughs> no, 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 because it's like, it would be something different. Like, yeah, okay, it's a different time period, 1904. We always see these movies, present day or future, 
Give me the Civil War Predator. You know yeah. he was around. They, see, they, that's they what they kind of tried to do with that two. Cowboys and Aliens, though. Oh, and really? See, look what we got with that movie. But yeah, I just I feel like you're fucked anyway. Like, if you're a prospector, if Arnold Schwarzenegger with a chain gun <laughs> can't take down a Predator, if a yeah. fucking prospector with a fucking musket, you're well, fucked. Well, <laughs> what if he knows the back woods? Oh, I see. Like the back of his hand. Uh-huh. And he was able to like get down into the into the uh, hollers, <laughs> and oh whatnot, shit, and get like the yeah, get dude. the hounds, and a bunch stuff. of yokel booby traps, yeah, like next of kin, but <laughs> <laughs> versus predator. <laughs> well, the alien is navigating this labyrinth that we find below the ice. I don't think the woods is going to be that big of an issue for him. Well, or the predator. labyrinth we come to find is uh, uh, ancient pyramid, right oh. from. The predator bar mitzvah ceremony that you put a bunch of like a predator comes down and like they put people in this temple and then the the alien lay egg in people and then the alien come out and then you have to kill the alien right. in order to read from the space Torah and then right. become a man. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Isn't that that's, the whole thing? Part of that, yeah, so that's passage. there is yeah. there is a portion of that that is correct. There is that really dumb line towards oh, it's very late in the movie is like the uh our, our lead character Lex or speaking of Jurassic Park yeah. is like they're teenagers, <laughs> and it's like, come on, man. Is Lex played by Sanaa Lathan? Is yes. That yes. Yeah. yes, yes, they're yes. They're teenagers. That's terrible. I don't even remember that line. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're just getting, like, they're just going out trying to get booze. Instead of getting booze with your buddies, mm-hmm. you go to another planet and impregnate humans so that you can kill the ultimate kill and kill uh, the, the alien. Thing. Of Sounds course like- that's me on this ID photo. <laughs> I'm a teacher at the local college. Sell me this Mike's Hard Lemonade. Uh, it, it says here uh you were born in 1974 yeah no uh, uh you don't look there's, like a- there's like an incomplete <laughs> triangle <laughs> where your 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 place of birth is i don't really what is that is that arkansas <laughs> well that was the interesting thing is the opening credits of this movie it starts off in like predator language and then it gets mm-hmm. translated so was this a movie made by predators oh man a film by oh, predators yeah and yes. it's just brought to a u.s audience that would be awesome and <laughs> they, then they're all dubbed <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> old kung fu movies yeah i what? think that's what this was now so when that um lg yahoo prospector yes. in yeah. the antarctic He's not a prospector, by the way. He's a whaler. Oh, yeah. That's it's, right. It's a whaling. Oh, yes. right. Yeah. That's the prospecting of the sea. <laughs> yes. put a, you know, like you put a net in a river for gold. You put a net in the ocean for a whale. Same thing. Yeah. There you uh-huh. go. Oh, there's, a, there's, there's gold inside these whales. <laughs> oh, I'm going to break this sperm whale open with my teeth. <laughs> oh wait, uh, it's eating me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I was swallowed whole. Is this the end of LG Yahoo? Is Jonah down here? <laughs> oh man. Well, so when that scene ended, did it cut to the Whalen satellite for you guys? Yes. And it's yes. the big yeah. shadow and, and it, it looks, looks like, like an alien yeah. queen. Fuck you, Paul W. S. Anderson. <laughs> what horse shit? I also love that we have to go to Nebraska for no reason. For no we, reason. We never go back there. It's just like nope. we're in contact mm-hmm. for like 30 seconds. I was see, that's what's funny, is because I've seen it more than contact. Whenever I see all them there are satellites like that, <laughs> I think of uh what's that Charlie Sheen movie? The Arrival. The Arrival, Arrival. yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a stay tuned and half. Yeah, R.I.P. Ron Silver. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, right. that still hurts. So, yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. Everyone, man. Uh, the dream team won't be the same. <laughs> <laughs> he's not in the dream team. It's somebody else. No, isn't he the doctor? No, he, oh, it's a guy who right. looks like him. He he's in like, like every Law and Order ever. Yes. Wow. Um. Yeah. So then it's just yeah. We're in Nebraska. Someone gets like a reading on a printout, and then it's like cut. Yeah. Great. I'm so glad I saw that. That's oh, the end of God. that. And then we cut to Sonal Lathan. Uh, Rock climbing like an Mission ice Impossible tooing. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. We're free climbing this thing. Still getting cell calls, by the way. Yeah. Sure. And she's you on. Think, um, if you were on an ice cliff in Antarctica, would you, you pick? No, go, no, go on. Sorry. Would you pick up your phone? I wouldn't. Cliff, yeah. Cliffhanger Stallone has like one the size of a boulder hanging <laughs> from his back. Yeah, I would. Well, that it shows you how skilled she is. Oh, I see. Right. Like, yeah, if yeah. you're that good at climbing that you can answer a phone call, mm-hmm. pretty good. You've I'd just been be selected for a pants. survey. Like, oh shit, <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, I got selected for a survey. This was a real <gasps> bummer. They were like, "Hey, you could be part of this market research group," uh-huh. and um, it was for Citibank. 
And they were like, you get $400 to do like an hour for this interview thing. And I was like, rad. And I had to do this like pre-survey uh, like questionnaire over the phone. Yeah. And I fucking got disqualified because they were like, how often do you use your credit card? I was like, never. Uh. And they were like, oh, what? And the lady was trying to lead me on. I didn't get it. And she was like, don't you mean you use it at least five times a month? And I was like, no, I have fucking horrible debt. What are you people trying to do to me? And she's like, you're disqualified from this. Well, well, this sad story is a good time to plug our Patreon, I think. (laughs) Oh, that's true. Yeah, patreon.com slash we hate movies. Yeah, there it is. And we we got a get, bunch of bonus content. Yeah, we we can get Andrew some socks without holes in them. You know, yeah, we could really oh, get finally. get him out of the gutter. People at work have been laughing at me <laughs> for the price of a beer a month. <laughs> this young man doesn't have to live in a cage. <laughs> he doesn't have to listen to City Bank. Yeah. He doesn't have to get excited about City Bank surveys. <laughs> so now Lathan is on that uh, shots fired cabin. Did, have you watched any of that? I have. I watched. I didn't like it. Uh, I liked Demi's episode. Yeah. I watched that. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, it's fine. It's I mean, they're trying to do. It's a huge subject, so I give them credit for that. It's she just surprising was, that it's on Fox. Yeah, that also. She was on some like Al Franken sitcom in the ni- late nineties. She 90s. has been everywhere. Well, she's in Love and Basketball, which oh, is really? great. Uh, and she's in she's in those Best Man movies, Best uh, Man and Best Man. Best oh, man, man that is a great franchise to be in because every couple of fucking years, here yep. it comes. Here's your check. <laughs> it's just this a, movie's going to kill the box office dead. <laughs> Let's just get a bunch of friends together and do another thing. Best friend, Best Man Summer Vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> best Man Stuck in Traffic. <laughs> best Man Intervention is coming up. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> that one's going to be tough. <laughs> I think she's in The Wood, too. Oh, oh, she's going to be in both? (laughs) I don't think The Wood had a sequel, but it should. It should, yeah, get The Wood back together. I mean, so she's on this, I I mean, she's on this ice reef, essentially, and she gets this call. This is so stupid. Oh, perfect. Hello? Uh, hi, uh, this is New Paltz uh, Alumni Foundation. <laughs> We're actually looking for it. No, no, no. no, it's no, some no. Dar- She's way more accomplished than a New Paltz alum. <laughs> Come on. It's some evil-voiced man from yes. the other side says, Hello, Mrs. Lathan. Hello, I need, uh, I got business to contend with. Mr. Whalen needs you. I forgot to trim my fingers! <laughs> you're having a nightmare that you're in the Antarctic! It's so stupid, though, because she gets to the top of the cliff and the dude is, like, there on the phone. Yeah. It's like, well, <laughs> you didn't notice the helicopter landing? Yeah, you would have heard that shit. Come on. <laughs> also, <laughs> alternatively, you didn't die when the helicopter... <laughs> Helicopter landed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shook the ice to its core. This is uh, the wh- just the Whalen Corporation, not the Whalen. It's before the merger. Before I guess. the merger. Yes. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, yeah. I'm and I don't know when that merger was because I'm pretty sure that in Prometheus and I just saw Alien Covenant. It, there, it's still just Whalen. Oh really? So when the fuck when are we Utani merging? show up? I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Was, like, was there like an antitrust suit or something? <laughs> like they were preventing the merger for a while. It might be. I don't know what's going on. Like, that would be a monopoly on space trucking. Uh, alien, I don't Yutani know. was the uh, MCI of the whole thing. <laughs> Ask your grandparents about MCI. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, man. I might they, have to. They were like Sprint, but worse. Uh, yeah, so then we cut to the first scene of The Exorcist because we're in the Middle oh, East on some sort of dig. It's and very it's, India. It's very the beginning of Jurassic Park. This is uh, oh, Sam. Yeah. You're totally right. It's Sam Neill with the kid. Practically, it's like they're they're in a dig, and like he find this Italian guy and his blonde friend finds like a Pepsi bottle cap, but it's like burp, 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 fart, and they're like, oh, oh no, man, we just lost God's all the money. Must be crazy. <laughs> It's a good way to get some uh, product placement in, by the way. Oh, yeah. he, he starts y- using it as like a medallion. Well, that's like, like, how can we keep up the Pepsi product placement? Maybe this dude will wear it as a necklace. He should have given that necklace to the Predator and Alien when they were fighting. To, oh. Like, defuse the situation. Or like to give it to them. the Predator. Yeah. Like, here's a gift. Like, kill the Xenomorph. Kind they're, of they're very into honorifics, those Predators. They that's are. Big right, time. Yeah. Big mm-hmm. time. As we learn in this movie, too. They're all honorary doctors as well. <laughs> of course. <laughs> true. Yeah. Oh, like Bill Cosby. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah. Dr. Cosby, you've been condemned to death. <laughs> you think they're going to do that? They're going to keep his doctor title when they fucking finally no. sentence him to the tomb? Oh, I don't know. That motherfucker. He's not getting sentenced to anything. They no, he's waiting to die right now. Well, he's going to do, do a Joe Pa. 
What's that? Oh, Joe they, Paterno. Oh, what, what? They were like, hey, Joe Paterno, you knew that that dude was fucking kids and you didn't do anything about it because you love football. Yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah? Oh, the cancer. And he, and he died. <laughs> so this is your warning, Paterno. You got two years to die. So he's Paterno's dead. dead. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they went oh, up yeah, to him wait. and said, oh, oh look, <laughs> this court case is a coming. No, he, he died like almost instantly. It was quite amazing. Yeah, I feel like they're just like sending Cosby cigarettes and like, like come on, Cosby, let's go. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so then we're just on our way to Antarctica, man, as quick as can be, with uh, Mr. We meet Mr. Whalen himself, Lance Henriksen, oh, because Lord. I'll buy that for a dollar. Because apparently the idea is uh, Lance Henriksen obviously played B- Bishop and Aliens. Right. So the idea is like, oh, he used his own design. Why would you? I mean, oh. that, that does make sense. Wait. Why would you ever make a robot that looks like Lance Henriksen Wait. unless it was <laughs> because, the guy? Because you want it to be like a like a non discreet like a. You know, oh, like I see. A, yeah, like oh, that, like, can, that oh, can't that, that could be a robot. He's just a guy. You, yeah. That's what you really thought. What? I th- uh, that's your whole reason. Yeah. I, that, I thought it was just Lance Henriksen is cheap. <laughs> I thought oh, that yeah, was oh, it's cheap to make a face look like that. <laughs> or you mean the character of Wayland is yeah. cheap? Yes, yeah, it's, it's not cheap. Lance it's cheap Henriksen. to bring him back. Uh, rather than oh. asking fucking any of the other no, actual... No, it's also no, no, creepy no. looking, you know? It's, it's like- just stupid. It's just fucking stupid. It's like, how can we find ways to link this movie that nobody wants to the original franchise of Alien? <laughs> there you go. He's, you know... It's a, it's a, it's a. I stand by. It's the cheapest way to do that. <laughs> you, but look at the other people that are in this movie. Aside from Sonat Lathan, who I think at the time was the person doing the most work out of anybody in these movies. Ewan Bremner is the Kinda. is the is the la, is the May, other I mean, big name. If there is a big yeah. name, and he's not a big name because it's just Ewan Bremner. Spud from Train Spot. Henriksen's uh, the the evil guy. Uh, the Henriksen's number two there. Double two. It, yeah. uh, the number two is from Master of None. Yeah. He's Salmon. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, I mean, like, there, there's the, just... the actor who, like, the really, hello, Aziz. Oh, I, oh, that's where he's from? Yeah, I think that's oh, him. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's, but that's, I mean, but that's, that's still, that, that shows that's you how nothing. much. The finger thing means the money in yes. a big way. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, like, I mean, like, that's the other thing, too, is, like, center these movies, like, Alien is always centered by Sigourney Weaver, who's a powerhouse actress. You've got Predator 1, you've got Arnold, and you've got, like, you know... Carl Weathers, that's something. Well, I mean, you, you really, well, you you're coming Jesse, for Arnold. Yeah, you've got an ensemble there. Bill Duke, got, Jesse Ventura. Exactly. Predator a two, lot of great Toughman. Predator 2, you got Busey. You've got Danny Glover. Like, these you are. you got Bill Paxton. Paxton. You, you, there are stars you could. Ruben Blades. <laughs> it's true. Ruben <laughs> Blades. That kid that was in the graveyard. Like that the you, Predator said, want some candy? You couldn't get like I don't know like get Charlie Sheen actually just get Charlie Sheen versus Predator sure like, that's, why, why not, not? Yeah. yeah that's a thing they, that's... they tried it with Adrian Brody it didn't work oh yeah actually though movie? in 2004 you could not get Charlie Sheen he was on that fucking sitcom that oh I hate. that's right yeah he was probably that's... expensive as oh, hell two and a half men yeah hmm. get man. Rock- <laughs> he was too busy letting everything fester <laughs> <laughs> uh. To your question, I didn't see that Robert Rodriguez produced Predator's movie. Never have. From uh, uh, Nimrod on Tall? Yes, correct. Is the... it just a remake of the first movie? Kind no, of? it's much. I think it's, it's pretty different. I, I remember not liking it. I don't remember much else. It's, it's like not a, very good. It's like a jungle of Predators. Yeah, but, like there's there's several different Predators. But it's not such the as same as plot movie. as, as, as oh, Numero. Okay. No, not at all. Um, Do you get to see uh, Topher Grace get murdered in that movie then? I believe so, yes. Queuing it up. <laughs> oh no <laughs> that's the only time it's happened <laughs> otherwise i have to watch spider-man 3 again oh yeah and i'm already gonna have to do this yeah. oh that's oh, right oh teaser um teaser. so yeah teaser. and like basically uh whalen comes out he's like there's been a great uh disturbance under this fucking cave <laughs> basically like, uh, essentially there's been my cave a thousand voices screamed out at once and we're suddenly <laughs> silent <laughs> Use a force, god damn it. That's no Xenobite. <laughs> He'd be a great Jedi, I'll huh? Give him a stupid ponytail, you get Lance Henriksen in you there. You know why? Because yeah. he's patient as fuck. Mm-hmm. Lance Henriksen is not a guy that freaks out. Yeah, I mean, true. he's freaked out on film, yeah. but he doesn't traditionally freak out, which is you want patience with the Jedi. But everyone would be like, oh my god, it's one of them dark Jedi. like, no, I'm not. Like, yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to turn any second. I <laughs> swear to god. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on, look at you. Just look, look at you. Look at him. Look how fucked up he looks. He looks like a skeleton. Stop it. 
You're the guy that summoned Pumpkinhead. Come on, you're telling me you're not a dark Jedi. Millennium, you don't think I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's the that? idea of some dude in the Jedi <laughs> Temple <laughs> harassing Lance Hendrickson <laughs> over having seen all of Millennium? <laughs> Got a little, after season two, a little... Not good. Yeah, I saw those Earth Hollow vids. This guy's evil. <laughs> um, so basically, it's like, oh, there's a heat signature in this pyramid that's a thousand meters under where under ice. We're gonna go find it. And uh, Alexa is like, look, it's a bad idea. I'm not gonna do it. This is a death. This is a death sentence. Blah blah blah. You're gonna send all these scientists to their death. This is where. And he's like, oh, you know, fine. Fuck you. This is where you double it. I always wanted to do that to That's, somebody, but like, double oh, whatever, whatever you're paying me, you better double it. That's right. Mm-hmm. You need me to. Well, her whole thing is like, there's not enough time to train all these yes. scientists mm-hmm. appropriately. She's being, you know, cautious about it. But yeah, yeah I would just be like, dude, double it. Yeah. <laughs> Less like half the time, double the money. Mm-hmm. That's but how that works. That's a bluff that Lance Henriksen is ready to exactly. go he's against. He's ready to double his ready to triple. Oh no, but he he's ready. He already has somebody else on the line. Yeah, he's, true. He's, he's not waiting for Sanal Lathan to I, say okay. I keep yelling at uh, Patreon, double it, and nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I did that to my boss. She's like, "Could you go back to work now? <laughs> double it." <laughs> yeah, I will if you double it. Double like, oh, what? The, okay, double the work. You'll take it a new side. <laughs> you want. More roast beef sandwich? I only do that at the pizza place, basically. Okay, like, yeah. double is like, yeah, you got it, fat guy. Yeah, yeah. Steve works at a pizzeria. <laughs> I'm always tempted to say uh, double it at a uh, 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 Subway. A oh, Subway yeah. sandwich, oh, double, double up that meat. Mm-hmm. But they, they gouge you, man. Oh, God, do they just uh, they oh, kill you. they're the worst. You also, shouldn't be paying $12 for a sandwich. Also, it's Subway in parentheses meat. Yeah, 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 you know, you know, Subway's turkey-based ham. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a <laughs> entire-based turkey, <laughs> but ironically, uh, yeah. steak-based tires, which is oh, weird. Those are delicious. Steakums, <laughs> chewy. Um, so th- we don't get. And I mean, this is the thing. Like again, either you should be doing blue collar, or whatever, or. Uh, or, uh, you know, mercenaries. But we just get a bunch of scientists, but not even really a bunch of scientists. It's, it's you and Bremner and nobody. It's n- nobody. Like- There's fucking no one in this movie. And it's like, if you're going to have nobody in a movie, fine. At least make those nobody's characters. Sure. This movie does neither. Or, alternatively, give them really, really grotesque deaths. I like that idea. This is yep. very simple. I don't need the star power. I just need you to give a shit about what you're doing here. Chris Cavins, uh, Hollywood tell all, I don't need the star power. <laughs> oh, I mean, you're totally right. And listen, watching this PG 13 version, it's like, what the fuck are we doing here? Like, yeah, I'm it's curious. Bu- like, well, yeah. well, it's bullshit things that I don't know if it looks any different in the unrated cut, which I guess all three of you watched. How long was I your cut? So. Uh, we're talking 100 minutes flat. Okay, so we had like four minutes four extra or five or something. More, yeah, I just feel like it's seconds on, on the kill. Well, but yeah. it's also, I feel like it might be some computer editing, though, because I had several things where, like, the Predator's spears going through people and whatnot, mm. and it's like, it's through a human being, and it's, like, mm. clean. Oh, no, that that's definitely in the... That's in there. Yeah, because... Oh, the, really? The, no, no, I mean, no, it's, it's not in oh, the... Oh, they are shot. gory. Yeah, yeah, there's just blood. It's, it's CGI blood. blood. Yeah, it's CGI blood. I mean, it's CGI blood. Because this is, like, it's just the... Pr- it's a shot of the prop, and there's no blood on it. That's stupid. It's so... It doesn't simple. fucking make any sense. Like, there's the one thing where uh, the Predator's spear is, like, invisible, and it goes through the dude. Yeah. And then, like, it turns... And it's just, like, clean. It's the cleanest spear. It's like they just got it from Dick's Sporting Goods. Why would oh, you maybe have- the blood stayed in- invisible. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that's what the effect should be, is, like, a bunch of blood mm. on the spear. Give me, like, the uh, outline of blood, then, you know? Exactly. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. They just It's or- like, God, I, what am I fucking going to these movies or for? even the simplest thing in the world. Blood on the floor. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Ewan yeah, Bremner, I love blood on the floor. Ewan Bremner gets taken by one of these fucking aliens at one point, and he's right. like, you know, pulled up from the thing, and I'm like, okay, he got hurt there. Nothing. Yeah, it's just like ah, he's gone. These clean poles. I mean, it's like 
And this is Predator we're talking about. These are always Predator's always a hard R. Yep. Aliens yeah. always a hard R. You know, there I mean? always like, are yeah, hard they're always R. Like, you know what I mean? Like brain no, matter, fucking that's what skinned you want. people hanging from trees, man. Like, so, come on. But for some reason, they're like, oh, all these kids watched those R movies at home, and now the kids want to go to the movies, make it PG thirteen. That, that was a two, the early two thousands thing. We were very afraid of R rated movies Ugh. for some reason. Big like, time. dude, we didn't fucking figure it out until Deadpool. What are you mm-hmm. talking about? I mean, that was like last year. It took forever. Yeah, like, I mean, that was just the thing. Like, we'll get them to the theater and then like you can get the unrated thing on blu-ray which is it's fucking bullshit like a horror movie shouldn't be rated pg-13 what am i doing here no no well, it should that's, not that's the thing is they try to turn both of these franchises which are to me primarily horror movies yeah and they try to turn them into a pure action movie yeah which right is horse shit action yeah. adventure oh. by the way yeah. like yeah like, the a, a bit of fuck, adventure man. was going There's on here predators and, like, action predator they all they both have action elements i give that but for the most part, when you have a tree of skinned people, yeah, I'm like, that's horror. See, pre- the first I'm so predator, scared right now. Oh it, my god, it, I'm so fucking terrified. <laughs> it was really great. <laughs> what are you waiting for, huh? Because they didn't do know, it. They didn't know what was killing them. That's what made it so great. In the yeah. first, first. Hey movie. Jesse, this this guy wants to know what my favorite scary movie is. <laughs> <laughs> Should I answer yes or no? Hey, Jesse, it was ridiculous. The phone rang in the middle of the night, and I picked it up, and the tongue licked my mouth from the phone. (laughs) If you find yourself in a Predator movie, (laughs) here's what you do, okay? You don't split up. (laughs) My mother, Lori Metcalf, (laughs) she is the real killer. You cover yourself in mud. It turns out it was two teenage boys dressed like Predators. They were doing... Predator at the same time. I'm going to kill you with a television set, Matthew Lillard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. Uh, oh, no. So, like, I mean, like, we wind up going. We're going to the thing. And I mean, like, there, it takes a long time for the alien and the predator to meet. You better believe it. Like, on this, we're on a boat, like, you know, crashing through Antarctic ice kind of a deal. Because to, the like, pyramid's get to this like a hundred things down. It's like a really far away down under ice. Is right. The idea. And so at one point, there is just a shot of, like, inside the predator spacecraft. Uh-huh. And I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, cool. Fucking predators, finally. Mm-hmm. And you see, like, a laser shoot down to Earth. And yeah. we don't know what it is. But then it's just back to these boring ass people on a boat <laughs> it they sucks. do mention that like this this temples like got the architecture of like the aztecs and uh the cambodia egyptians. and the egyptians and how like it's like the first pyramid right ever and it's like the, of the first civilization and and that's when you start piecing it together man you're like oh fuck yeah predator was ancient aliens. Yes. This is an ancient yes. aliens movie. Yes, and they do that flashback of like, and they were worshipped as gods. Yep. And, you know, they're the predators up on the top of the pyramid, like, oh, thanks, guys. Can, can, <laughs> can we? Thanks for the Academy yeah. Awards. <laughs> President Predator <laughs> ring the Academy Awards every year. <laughs> uh, no, well, you know, like the people, you know, the yeah. common folk that they will then kill um, yeah. or whatever. Or can, used to lure, lure aliens to then kill aliens. That is, I think, the most interesting part of Can we talk about that or should we We're table using that? the I word? No, yeah, let, let's I go. Feel, yeah, I think we should go jump. the whole yeah. Oh, go th- yeah, let's go. go th- yeah. yeah. Well, okay. So that scene is incredibly interesting to me because most of this movie, the aliens are considered the villains of the movie, yeah. right? Uh, for the most part, because they kill everybody. Sure. Um, in this situation, so the predator, the species of the predators, mm-hmm. uh, birthed all these aliens yeah, and right. proliferated well, them. Yeah. yeah they, so that well, they, they could kill them. them. They didn't bred birth them. them. Yeah. Bred them so that they could kill them. Correct. How is the predator not the villain of all of this? It's a good question because, like, he just like it, it's like these, he's the evil mastermind. He's he, like the Doctor Monroe. Yeah, like he <laughs> he bred all of these like species and just did it to kill them constantly over and over again, right? No matter what. Well, you know what? Here, I'll tell you why. Because there's no way for an alien xenomorph to look sympathetic in any capacity. And that's the end of this fucking movie. They also can't communicate. Is this like, yeah, and like this disgusting, you know, this (laughs) crab face thing, like, you know, is like, it's got eyeballs and it can look at Sanaa Lathan like 
sort of emotionally. I mean, sure. it, the end of this movie is her kind of defending her boyfriend, the Predator. <laughs> yes. yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, you can't do that with the Xenomorph. So, like, yeah, sure, they were bred to be murdered. And that's a bummer for the Xenomorph. But also, <laughs> like... You know, they're like some evil little fucking animals, man. I mean, they're just as dangerous as anything else. Like, but, they should be exterminated. But they didn't they, like, bring them there for that? But the weird... So, yes, yes, they th- did. Th- that's the idea. It's like, very unethical of the Predator. <laughs> 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 No, I'm not defending the Predator. I'm just saying, like, from the movie's point of view... And it's also a humanoid. You identify with humanoid more than you but, would, like, a, a right. snake spider. Here's right. my question, because, I mean, to your point, Andrew, like, we probably don't follow Predator 2, which takes place on an alternate timeline. But we are following mostly Predator 1, right? So, like, yeah. why would the... So the Predators, as a species, like, we got this great planet called Earth. We go there every hundred years to hunt aliens. It's a great... Oh man, it's it's just a great place to go, spread out. Hunts Everybody's aliens. getting blown. Yeah, exactly. It's a good vacation. It's like Cabo, right? Yeah, it's yeah, co- yeah. It's, it's Predator pr- Cabo. Spring it's break. Predator Cabo. It's the then, MTV Beach House, and we go there for a very specific reason, <laughs> which is to incubate humans and blah blah blah. So then, what is the predator doing in the 1980s in the fucking Venezuelan jungle hunting Arnold Schwarzenegger and only Arnold Schwarzenegger without any xenomorphs anywhere near? That's is, true. Well, yeah, I think he's a separatist pe- predator. Oh, I see. Isn't there he's something about exiled. the first movie? Doesn't he like crash land? Oh, is he oh, just like? Yeah, is it an just, accident? I think he's just passing by. Yeah, and he breaks down. Or maybe he was hungry. Oh, it could be, it could be, like, oh, it drive through. Well, no, because does, I think his ship like crashes, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, there's I some twinkle where like the ship goes down. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. I, that's at least that movie. The second movie where they're under the fucking streets of Los Angeles, I can't even tell. So you. it's like, oh, it's like when you go to Cabo, you you want to stay in Cabo. You don't want to go outside. So that's like, yeah. oh man, that's that's what it, it is. It's like, yeah, oh, now I'm in this backwoods thing hunting Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's like, oh fuck, I left the resort compound. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, just set this movie. Put the temple the predator temple on mars or something have it be like an yes, expedition yes. to mars and you get there and it's like well, maybe there's martians and it turns out to be xenomorphs and predators yeah, that would That's be cool a great a idea. More, more interesting than uh and, and it would it would preserve the idea of hunting humans on earth as well i guess right it would certainly allow them to get a little bit more visually interesting since all these freaking grim black oh Oh, wait a second in order to prevent uh some unnecessary tweets from being fired off now i'm remembering though that the plot of avp requiem i think is also that a a predator crash lands on earth for some reason that's that's a predator breakdown movie for sure what's what's good about that movie is you got suburbia you know, yeah, or whatever. and it's also we're just fucking unapologetically killing people, killing, and it's awesome. murder and slaughter. That's what I came here for, yep. please. Because the Arctic is boring as fuck without Kurt Russell. So <laughs> you're goddamn right. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna get put Kurt their feet up on something? It was, it was early two thousands. Get Kurt Russell. What's he doing? Dark yes. Blue. No one's gonna watch Dark Blue. Get him in a fucking Alien versus Predator movie. <laughs> you're that goddamn would be amazing. Right. Maybe he's the, he's the captain of the ship that goes to Mars. Mm, here's the thing. Um, did you guys know that the the Predators have names in this movie? No, I did not Predator. know. No, they don't. Yes, no. they do. Well, they I, do. But you have to translate what? the incomplete triangle. Uh, they have, oh, like, did cute, I not have the subtitles on? Yeah. They have cute little. Uh, 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 this, uh, is this is Grimrax. This is Toga. <laughs> <laughs> you wish it was Grimrax and Toga. It oh, is. Man, I want those dudes. It's like plush toys. <laughs> real little teddy bears. Three, Grimrax and Toga. The main predator who winds up uh, almost getting to second base with Sonali Jeff. and <laughs> Scar. <laughs> Oh, because he like marks himself. Face, but who? Okay. But where is this being displayed in the movie? Uh, and then the other and two credits, are named Chopper and Celtic. No, they're not Celtic. I, I'm Celtic. already. I'm already. That was a fake thing. That was our Gallagher fucking fact. <laughs> Somebody did it for this. <laughs> Somebody's just making up. It's on Tribune Wikipedia. Tribune. It's. I think that that's probably in the production notes. It might be even be in the credits as he's. Oh, maybe it was in the novelization. Speak, <laughs> speaking of stupid shit, on the IMDb <laughs> trivia, I saw. Uh, that this is the first Predator movie to feature a left-handed Predator. <laughs> oh, I saw on. that. I saw that and almost spit on my own phone. <laughs> what a stupid thing! How just, about that? Just imagine that. That's what you do. Like you watch this movie, and what you take from it <laughs> is that there was a left-handed Predator. Yeah. No, but you know what, Chris? You only take that from the movie after the twelfth time you've seen it. I guess and so. The, pred- sh- the Predator in Predator 2 is ambidextrous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like, the, I like the idea of somebody watching it on a big screen TV and like, hold on, hold on, and like rewinding. 
Gra- <laughs> watching him grab his spear, rewinding, watching grab his spear. <laughs> Honey, get my predator tapes! <laughs> I think we've got a left-handed predator. You know what, babe? I don't think we've had a left-handed predator before. Babe, put some coffee on. I got a lot of research to do tonight. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be night. watching some movies. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna be probably, watching some movies. Paul W. S. Anderson probably just flipped a shot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like digitally <laughs> yeah. flipped. Uh, this, I mean, the super fans though. This just reminds me. I get this quick story out of the way. It's not anything, but. I was it's called Aliens versus Predator. <laughs> <laughs> They're in Antarctica. I was projecting at the multiplex at the time. We're talking 2004, uh, and I saw I was in college, so it must have been either like summer. This movie came out, or like over sure. a break or something. That sounds so right. Working, and there was a dude who uh, he sucked at his job horribly, and not many people liked him. Don't and- talk about me like that, man. <laughs> And uh, I mean, he was a nice enough guy. He was just like kind of lazy and shitty. Oh, also, Chris. <laughs> oh, uh, no, so, so Whoa, smoked. So he's he decide he puts in uh, that he's gonna take like uh, a Friday night off. And like you know, being an usher at a movie theater, like that's a no go. Like you got to be open. Sure, but it was like just that Friday. So the manager gave it to him. It was whatever. I go downstairs for like a cup of coffee that night, and I see this dude. And I'm like, motherfucker, you asked for the night off. You can't be coming into work. What are you, crazy? So I see this dude. I was like, hey, man, what are you doing? Like, what are you here for? And he, like, claps his hands together and then, like, spreads his arms out wide. Like, you know, I'm crazy for asking. And he's like, dude. AVP, bro. <laughs> oh, man. And I and was go to the theater you work in instead of a different theater. <laughs> well, it's you free. Got it, you got it for free. And so <laughs> stand in the place where you work, <laughs> watching Alien vs. Predator every live long day now. It was ridiculous, though, because then he, I was like, oh, you're excited for that movie? And he <laughs> just goes, dude. My whole family is. What? what? Cut to that no. joke from The Simpsons where Cletus is like, come out here, Cody, <laughs> Scooter, Bonnet, Ryan, Gator, Grimrax, Toga, <laughs> Scar, <laughs> Chopper, <laughs> Celtic. Dude, like 12 people walked by All me. All dressed oh. like predators. <laughs> A lot of them young Wait, children. Did he get all 12 in for free? Dude, they all just wa- It was outrageous. That is gross it was misconduct. Fucking That's, outrageous. He was going to college or something. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't understand how you This do dude wasn't going to college. <laughs> but it was outrageous. I was like, you brought your whole family, possibly some extended cousins came in from out of town to jointly Ooh. watch. What? Alien versus Predator. That's crazy. To sit Everyone in a room, saw this is going to be a turd. Everyone saw this. To sit in a room and be fucking grossly disappointed <laughs> two hours later. So, I mean, like, what we're doing here is we're just, we, we get in the pyramid, we find some stuff. We're doing a lot of that thing that archaeologists and movies like to do, which is grab shit and start solving puzzles <laughs> right away. Like, no gloves, just grabbing everything. Just touching shit. Yeah, how no one, like, it's got to be mandatory. Like, all right, man, we're in this fucking temple. Everybody put gloves on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Get, get a, and don't get a, touch like anything. A, We're just going to take pictures no. for now. The next trip, maybe get we'll move some. Get that little duster out. Yeah. Dust some shit off. <laughs> I say don't even go into the fucking thing. Yeah. Now, you found it. Like, Lance Henriksen's whole thing is I don't want somebody else to find it. That's yeah. the whole thing. Put a flag on it. Yeah. You're there. And then, make camp. Yeah. Make get camp. another team in here. Get a whole bunch of people. Get like a hundred people. Get a facility. Yes. And then have all of them slaughtered so that I can <laughs> yes. have a good movie. Here. Yeah, there Look, you go. When they discovered the alien spacecraft buried in the Arctic uh, in the first X Files movie, which this movie also rips off horribly, yep. uh, dude, the FBI had a whole fucking team down there. It was like yes. a camp of people. That's how you it do wasn't this. just Mulder and Scully. Like eventually, well, Mulder yeah. and Scully got separated. Well, that's were... the government founded. This is a private business. Oh shit, privatized. Yeah, yeah. Totally the right. Cokes yeah. got this one. And you know, that's that's actually <laughs> and man, I'd love to see them ripped apart by a predator. Sebastian Coke. You know, the predator... David's like great 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 <laughs> great 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 grandson. Oh man, the Cokes are gonna have some fucking androids made after them. Oh, Ew. oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, why is that fuck. android so dumpy? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing, though, is uh, in movies, getting a team of, like you say, like, you know, the, the, it was a rite of the passage for the Predators to do this thing. In movie language, it's a rite of passage for a billionaire to get scientists killed. Yeah, like a group yeah. of si- you. Yep, you yeah. want to get that's true. Like, that's, how, that's how you go. You cut your teeth as a billionaire is you get a team of scientists uh, killed right in a remote location. And, but now the thing of it is, 
This movie gets it right with Lance Henriksen, who is like just murdered by a predator at one point. Yeah. Whereas they changed the movie from the book of Jurassic Park, and that motherfucker John Hammond makes it out alive. Oh, he's dancing in all those movies. I know, but in the book, he gets killed by raptors on a boat. Yes, it's great. <laughs> Quite killed. Yeah, he gets super murdered. This is speaking of this billionaires making their bones, killing yeah. scientists. Do you think this is what Donnie's doing in the White House? Well, that he's actively. <laughs> I mean, like it's different to it's different from like accidentally getting scientists killed. Um, it's kind of the. Well, I'm no, gonna he, need a bunch of scientists go, to go to this airfield in Syria. Don't ask me why. <laughs> There's something that needs to be looked into. <laughs> look, look what okay, we're okay, launch the bombs. <laughs> Do you think um, get the Moab. Go climate get change deniers love like Roland Emmerich movies? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, there's a reason they call it science fiction. <laughs> it's science fucking fiction. 2012 science fucking fiction. Day after tomorrow documentary. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, like, re- there's not a lot of plot here. We find out that the, the pyramid itself is this weird maze that is kind of like a... Bri- oh, by the way, the alien queen gets woken up. Like oh, yeah. de- defrosted and woken up. <laughs> Con- okay, possibly controversial <laughs> opinion. The uh-huh. introduction of the alien queen and aliens in Aliens, although awesome and it's a great couple of scenes, kind of weakened the franchise. Like I think that the idea that we always have to see what the alien queen is up to, it's like I don't necessarily need it in every movie. Was no. that in the third one though? Uh, good question. I don't think so. I don't think it is. But I think the they second brought one, it back in the fourth one, and that yeah. was its downfall. That sucks. The second one, it exists solely so Sigourney Weaver can call it a bitch. Yeah, I mean, I'm, that's and it's which great. is awesome, and it's really cool. And but if it's you like, want to talk about like how these things breed, I can, I can, I can see making a queen. But the thing is, like, so much science fiction since then has ripped that off. Yes, to such a degree, we even got a Borg queen. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Borg yeah. Queen, you have the fucking queen in Independence Day Resurgence that looks just right. like the alien oh queen. That God. was the worst. How? The Maybe worst that's defender. why I'm so upset about yes. the alien Dude, queen. Maybe James Cameron's got a fucking lawsuit against speaking of Roland Emmerich, by the way. I mean, what are you doing? Why would doing? that be a queen? Why would they why would they breed like queen like, like that? Why no. would they breed like they're ants? Just, cuz they're little like the aliens in in Independence Day are like little gleep glops in huge yeah. mech suits. Yeah. yeah, so you would think that they like went to fucking college and like. <laughs> so what is like they <laughs> were like the... lived a normal life and instead they're being shit out by a queen nonstop. Well, that's, that's what's insane. insane. It's like college. Does the queen's <laughs> does the queen's suit open and like what Roseanne comes out? Like I don't. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> is this the critic? <laughs> Like an episode of The Critic. Oh my god, the alien queen's weirdly transphobic. <laughs> I just learned that about Roseanne, and Is it was quite really? disheartening. Yeah, Is she really? oh, really? yeah I didn't know sucks. about this. Yeah, yeah. No, nobody likes that. You know, they're bringing, they're doing a revival of that show. Who the fuck could? Care? That's what. That's where it came out because my what? wife told me about it, and she was like, "Roseanne fucking sucks," and I was like. Roseanne's a comedy pioneer, and she was like, "Yeah, but she's like transphobic and shitty to people." And I was like, oh, well, that's but she thinks she's still okay. Yeah, she's, she's doing all right. Uh, so, but how how are you doing that? I mean, I'm sorry. The end of that series is John Goodman passes away. Yes, yeah. and he's been dead for a whole year at, yeah. at like the finale of that show. So you're telling me you're going to bring back Roseanne w- without without Dan Connor? Force ghost Dan Connor. No. <laughs> oh, I mean, no, you, you find no. You know, it, 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 it's all Carla. Takes- you must go to the Dagobah system. <laughs> <laughs> no, or maybe it's uh it's a uh, Cloverfield Lane there. Like the, the, the whole, it's the Connor family underground oh, in a bunker. That'd be yeah, great. Post a yeah. Mm-hmm. That movie, I'll tell you right now, you want to talk about Snub of the Century? I'm not saying win for it. John Goodman should have been nominated for an Academy Award for the performance in 10 Cloverfield Lane. It's a pretty good movie. Was, he's fucking good, awesome yeah. in that movie. He's great in that movie. The movie itself isn't amazing. I liked it. John Goodman in that. I liked it too, but like John Goodman, Goodman in that movie steals the show. John Goodman in this movie. Like you could have yes, easily that's got how you, yes. Yep. Oh my God. You need a fucking. Colonel John Goodman. Yep. He yeah. would be a military figure. It would be amazing. Well, you after, could just do the thing where, oh man, the most bone chilling John Goodman of all time when he fucking walks into the Oval Office and talks <laughs> shit to Martin Sheen yeah. and says, is like with all due respect, Mr. President, get the hell out of my office. Ooh, my spine's just tingling. Thinking You're about relieved, it now, sir. Oh. With all due respect, Mr. Predator, get the hell out of my office, <laughs> Mr. Predator. <laughs> John Goodwin actually has a fairly good death scene in a uh, Kong Skull Island. He does. Oh, it's like spoiler. It's funny and brutal. Spoiler City. 
You know what? If you didn't see that movie in theaters, you shouldn't see it. So the alien, here's the thing. The alien queen (laughs) is like frozen and like wakes up and starts like fucking shitting out eggs. And it's like uh, in this like weird factory. (laughs) (laughs) It's all the aliens like making shit happen. But it's like who? Okay. There's so many questions here. First question. What is freezing it? Yeah, great. What the? F- I mean, I guess we're in Antarctica, but like in that, in the chamber, yeah. nothing's frozen, and we don't know what what what, te- at what temperature does an alien freeze? What is a good? Oh. That's a great question. What is a good temperature to freeze a xenomorph? That's, that's, a, right, that's should... a Ray Bradbury book. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. We should have definitely had more backstory for the predators and <laughs> yes. their whole this whole thing. Well, you know, listen, oh, you don't want an alien Celsius. queen with uh, with uh, freezer burn. <laughs> they don't taste as good. Uh, yeah, so that's a question. But then also, like these eggs just start falling out. She's and been it's, ready to shit for a month, for a mil- for a hundred years, it seems. But it's like, where, where was the dude? Who's the, I, yeah, you never fertilized? No, those. dude, it's a predator with like a cotton swab full of alien cum. <laughs> uh, your records say that you're currently on uh, Dextatril and. Uh, uh, <laughs> Fucking predator checking the queen's chart. Uh, that's so, have you felt any more problems in your limbs? I know they're shackled and everything, but uh, you know we could, we could do something for oh, you there. Oh, it's it's kicking. Feel my thorax. Uh, oh God, uh, help uh, us uh, all! Oh, oh, it's turned around. We're gonna have to get in there. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Gotta make a Z section. <laughs> oh, watch out! Acid got me. Well, that's the other thing, too, actually. Why the aliens have been hunting predators for thousands of years at this point. It's a proud tradition. And they're, like, super technologically advanced. How did they not figure out fucking armor that doesn't... That is acid resistant. Here's what I think that is. The predators are a proud race uh, oh, I of see. hunter-gatherers. This, and I think what? each time it's like <laughs> we're going st- to... But, <laughs> but it's like they, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be go- going there loaded up with their cal- Calbella's fucking hunting gear. <laughs> oh, big xenomorph hunter? They're playing that on the <laughs> yes. show in the Cabela's? Space Cabela's? <laughs> yes, Space Cabela's, dude. Oh, but I just think they like to start at square one every time. I, it's you, like a fair fight. I feel like if you're doing gear, get the best gear, you know. Man, the back of a predator. You, it's like an opening Star Wars shot. You know what I mean? It's like the <laughs> ship. It's a predator ship. And then at the back, it just says, if you're reading this, the bitch fell off. Because <laughs> that's what the predators are, man. Yeah, you know, uh, we, we pan down to a, a predator wearing a Bass Pro fishing <laughs> shop hat or whatever. Do you have a, a camo uh, cover for your uh, second tire? <laughs> uh, well, let me get to that xenomorph jerky. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I want to... What a mud flap for the back of my spaceship that just says uh, it's a it's a picture of a xenomorph and she's got huge titties. <laughs> you know, we were thinking of uh, uh, getting some fishing gear and going to uh, uh, pick up a few baby xenomorphs out of the pond, <laughs> and then a, a bumper sticker that says half triangle square uh, <laughs> slash Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then rhombus. Oh boy! Oh, no, don't got her good. Rhombus, that bitch. But her rhombus. <laughs> Hillary for half circle. You know what I'm saying, man. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, I don't even and then know. just one that says Infowars. <laughs> 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 so th- this like maze becomes activated when the predator, when the alien queen wakes up, we get separated. There's like a bunch of nobodies everywhere. Like the main group is uh, Alexa. What's his face? Uh, Lance Henriksen and this, and this other guy. Some Italian dude. Oh, the Italian mm. with, the, with, with the little Pepsi bottle yeah, on his thing. Yeah, that yeah. guy and Spud. Spud's yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, and they all kind of get separated. and Because the temple starts moving. Yeah. It's like a Nickelodeon show. It is. The, the, <laughs> o- Olmec is involved, yeah. apparently. Well, it's and like it's- they say every 10 minutes... And we discovered this because the the Italian guy who's some sort of scientist. He's an archaeologist. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, he's like just he's reading the shit out of these walls. <laughs> oh, man, he knows everything. Dude, and he's fluent in Predator. Isn't it him and his archaeologist pal that I don't remember because it's yep. a nobody? Yeah, it's oh, a nobody. the dude who who looks like a D-grade ber- version of the blonde guy from Rent. 
Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anthony Rapp. He looks yeah. like yeah, bullshit looks Anthony like Rapp. Which does. also get Anthony Rapp. It's very easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was waiting by the phone. Mm-hmm. He was waiting literally by a phone. And then there's they've all, it's it's Ant- bullshit Anthony Rapp and bullshit Switch from the Matrix. Yes, yes. 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 Totally Not right. like this. <laughs> oh, man, that woman should have said that when she gets a face hugger thrown at her. I disgusted my fiance last night. She's like, oh, she looks like that lady from The Matrix. And I immediately went, not like this. And she's like, how do you know that line? Oh, come it's on. the best line. It's the best it's line. Come on. It's definitely the best switch line. <laughs> yeah, it was the, uh, isn't it the uh, only kill, it was switch the, line? Uh, kill switch. <laughs> Kill switch. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but they they get separated, and in they're in like a predator, uh, or I'm sorry, an alien like breeding room with a bunch of eggs in it. Mm-hmm. And I think actually, um, in terms of like inconsistent horror tropes, there is the old joke of like uh, zombies. A zombie bite could turn into a zombie inconsistently, movie to movie. But like movie to movie, alien. In uh, incubation yes. is so big rampantly time. inconsistent. Yeah. Big time. John Hurt like w- is down for like hours, even a day. He wakes up, he eat pre- eats breakfast. Mm. Uh oh, alien. That's a yep. good movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ridley <laughs> Scott directed you that. The, this uh, is like six minutes. <laughs> it's it's really fucking fast. That, I don't get is it. Is that fucking thing in Super Mario Brothers two that sh- that spits eggs at everyone? Birdo. Birdo. Is that a xenomorph? Yeah, oh, she might be. Yeah, that's she might a- be the alien queen. Mm-bow. You seem to have these shells in your mouth every like. (laughs) Oh my god! Every every second! Oh my! I can't catch all! Oh my god! Oh god! Uh, Birdo, what what have you been eating, pal? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, let me let me! Oh, oh. that's tender. (laughs) Oh, ew! (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um. So, I mean, like, uh, they get inf- infested. Aliens finally come out. Now we get Alien versus Predator. Ooh. There are the way- specifically, I think, three exact scenes of Aliens versus Predator mm-hmm. in this movie. And by the way, Lance Henriksen needs, again, in the Alien, tro- in the alien world... The businessman gets it the worst, right? Like that's mm-hmm. yes. Paul Reiser gets it real fucking bad. Um, oh, that's right. In uh, Aliens, oof. Uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, Ian Holm is a robot, but he's like a company man robot. He yeah. gets it bad in Alien. Like these are things you and like Lance Henriksen. Like, is, like turns out to be a really kind man that like has a heroic death. No, 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 no. I don't know. He has to sucks. push like Lexa down the stairs to save himself and yeah. get impaled on something and get his head. Well, it's out. also an obnoxious thing. And I hate when there's other instances where this has happened where like he goes up against the monster. Right. And Mm. predators like it appears as if you have stage four lung cancer. (laughs) Let me take a look at your chart here. (laughs) Oh, I'm I'm sorry. We won't be able to help you out. This this qualifies as a pre pre pre-existing condition. You see this cloudy area up here. (laughs) That's not supposed to be like that. Oh, oh, Lance, Lance, sit down. I don't don't, don't know how to tell you this, buddy. You got any family or what? (laughs) But yeah, so he notices that he's got like cancer or whatever. It's it's non-specific. I I guess we couldn't afford the trademarked cancer in this movie because <laughs> he says earlier he he like bonds with Lex. And he's like <laughs> I'm sick, and she's like Oh, you can't go on the trip. He's like Just give me this one, Lex. Yeah. So the predator doesn't kill, as in Predator Two, does not kill pregnant women and does not kill sick people. He's, yeah. Yeah, well, he's, the terminally like, terminally ill. He's like that's that's there's no uh, there's no honor in killing a weak yeah. sickly person. Oh, the nature. young and thriving. Uh, however oh yeah. sure well, nature honor. beat him to lance hendricks <laughs> right yeah. but then lance so then like predator just walks away and lance hendrickson's like oh you don't walk away from me you stupid fucking alien and like <laughs> would he shoot something at no, him he, or, he, he tries to light him on fire, fire. <laughs> that's right yeah, it's like pretty a, lame it's like hairspray and a lighter mm. and he goes at it, and the predator's like really dude <sighs> I gave you a second chance because you're going to be dead in a week anyway, but all right, fine, fuck you, and just murders him. I I got fucking 40 minutes of this movie left to go, man. (laughs) And you're playing this shit with me. I'm just going to kill you, okay? Now, how does he die in the unrated He just gets impaled, and it is is bloody. Okay, I was was wondering if maybe it it changed. A lot of lame impaling. You want a sick decapitation. At the very least. Because it's like, it would be a quick, like, predator, like, fuck you kill. Like, you just, like... Wink, quichow, yeah. and he's just dead. I want it, uh, I, I, you know, pardon me on this one, but when it comes to Alien versus Predator, Aliens or Predator, I want a kill that's more 
substantial, more creative than Braveheart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Half the deaths in Braveheart are impalings. I don't <laughs> fucking need it, man. Yeah, Braveheart's got better death when that Englishman gets his leg chopped off. Yeah, that's nice. Even that's more creative. There's your boobers. It's historical. Unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, predator just kicking dudes in this. <laughs> like, oh, a scientist. Let me just kick him down this shaft. Well, the biggest bunch of bullshit is at the beginning of the movie when they're like the predators kind of they get to Antarctica and they sort of like lay waste to the the whaling village. Yeah, which is just all these like mercenaries that Lance Henriksen hired. But there's one part where the one of these hard bodies is like, oh, what's chasing me or something like that, and he backs up into a room or whatever it is. And there's all these pre-hung dead bodies. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell, Predator movie? Like, let me see that. Well, they move really quick. We know the Predators. The first thing's first. You kill them, you, you move them right up. You got to move them right up, man. <laughs> well, they all take <laughs> Adderall. Very, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're very tidy. They're a very tidy race. The, we do get a cool... Uh, the num- uh, Hendrickson's number two dies in that net, which is kind of fun. That's, That's almost awesome. a counselor death. That was awfully close, yeah, it I was, thought. It was, yeah. To what? The counselor. The film, oh, the I counselor. Didn't see it. Yeah, there's a no, there's a, a mechanism that. that decapitates you. Oh well, there's it, it reminded me of like Cyrex. It's wings. very Cyrex. <laughs> yeah, we but were ripping off Mortal Kombat. The what other, is Paul W S Anderson? The other one. So basically, um, the alien shows up, and the alien versus the predator. We wrestle. We wrestle fight. The alien. Try, <laughs> the predator puts him in the net, and one of the aliens gets in the net and becomes, as Wikipedia tells me, <sighs> the alien's name. After that point is grid. God grid. damn it! You've got Listen. Chopper, Celtic, Scar, and Grid. Right, you know what? How, how about this one? Yeah, that fucking one. Yeah. <laughs> how yeah, about yeah, that yeah. shit? These things don't need names. They don't nope. need cute nicknames. They don't need it for your Wikipedia entry, for your IMDb trivia, your fucking book that nobody wants to read. All right? Yeah. It's all terrible. It's just an alien with a bunch of fucking scars on its head. Its Un- name yeah. is not Grizz. Unless- it's number one, number two. <laughs> yeah, number yeah three. exactly. Unless we're doing a Project Nim with a xenomorph. <laughs> Then, maybe, possibly. But other than that, no. But actually, you don't want to be alien number one that gets caught in the net, David. He was the man who voiced Grid in Alien vs. Predator. Steven oh, I cannot believe you remembered Grid. I fucking told you not to mention Grid, God damn. I'm, I'm always waiting for him to be like, I fucking told you. Leave that one off your goddamn chart. David, we're going to fucking do it over. David, <laughs> D- David we're, we're running it again. No, no. Go deeper in the filmography, David. I don't need it. Someone's just listening like, why did he leave this? <laughs> <laughs> why did this make the cut? <laughs> <laughs> Grid. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, like, so they, they're like, the dumb thing is like, they do wrestle fight, right? Like, it's. Yeah. There's a, there's a couple of pile drivers. I mean, I'll say he's this. grabbing the alien by the foot and swinging <laughs> him around. It's really stupid. Now here's a question I had because this was the first time I noticed this, and maybe it's the case in the other two pr- uh, prior Predator movies. But is the Predator not like four feet taller than the Undertaker in this movie? Like, is yeah, he's, he's very big, big. He's bigger than average, yes. right? Mm-hmm. It's like Eight a footer, like he's always, Jason. He's kind of always thing. supposed to be really big. He was like, he was like, he had like a foot on Arnold. I think. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, he's like but six, these five ish. These things are fucking huge, though, and I think it's only because he's supposed to be fighting a xenomorph, which is a traditionally larger creature. Sure, you know, so it's like. I guess if they weren't the same size, like the xenomorph would just like house this dude or whatever. But yeah. like, well, the, the predator, xenomorph houses them anyway. Yeah. yeah well, he I takes mean, out the first. He takes out Celtic and Chopper oh, quite quickly. Oh, the fucking adaptation names. We, he get, he gets one through the head with his mouth, and which then is, like one through the, his tail through the body. Or yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He impales the other the, one. The 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 tongue head, the xenomorph like tongue head through the predator's head thing. Yeah. This movie sucks, and I'll tell you, this is the greatest example. If you had to, like, there, if someone was like, hey, man, give me one solid reason why this movie's stupid, it's this. When the head goes, when, like, the tongue head goes through Predator's mm-hmm. head, you can just clearly hear a gunshot sound effect. 
What are you talking about? There That's... was a second xenomorph on the grassy knoll. <laughs> <hole. laughs> using a rifle. <laughs> yes. It's All right, a, here we go. Line ten, it up. Little slimy tendrils around a rifle. <laughs> they kill Predator. They kill Predator. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the, coming from the book depository building in the temple. <laughs> hey, Predator. Blam. <laughs> a Jack Ruby xenomorph. I like that. Oh, oh totally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here's my question, though. Yes. Anyone else notice the lion roar? were given predators oh in this movie. Like, yep. give me a goddamn break. Yep. He's eight feet tall and he roars like a lion. That's not the predator I know. Not, not the predator I came to this party with. Absolutely not. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me to this party, Steve. <laughs> I'm having you're, a really great time. You, know, you had a couple. Oh, I, had, br- I brought a bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah, you have a couple of drinks in your predator. You turn into a totally different animal. You become taller and you roar like a lion. <laughs> Uh, let me see. What kind of rye you got here? <laughs> oh, oh man, Picky Predator at the liquor cabinet? <laughs> I like that. His name is Picky. <laughs> My yeah. remark, he was the predator who played Picky. <laughs> uh, well, you know, bullet's not bad. <laughs> uh, cheap stuff's good. Yeah, he's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Turn into Peter Falk a little bit there. Yeah, but. yeah, it's fine. Um, These things happen. Skid Row Predator. We don't even see a bunch of, I think we only see one like alien hatch. From like maybe it happens from Switch or Anthony Rap, or is uh, it not the final teaser? It happens from Fake Switch almost immediately. Yeah, she, she just that's gets- the biggest offender of like how long is this gestation period? Like she wakes up. Also, it's fucked up because like the face hugger fell off her. Yeah, everyone else is still hanging out with the face hugger. If on. you could read this, the face hugger fell off. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly right. And she wakes up and she's like, "Ew, it's like a white lobster." <laughs> yeah. And white then, lobster. Do you think they would it's taste good? It's a white good? lobster. What? Oh yeah. Do you oh, I, think they do. I, I always Dude. thought they would look delicious. Flash boil. Yeah. Just a nice little butter sauce. A little get some, lemon. Get some, get some lemon and paprika. Oh, put it in that butter sauce. I oh, think the xenomorph, aside from the acid, if you could clean it without mm-hmm. the acid, eat that yeah. flesh. It's like a poisonous blowfish. It's probably very. There's you a good get cut a very on that xenomorph. Skilled, skilled <laughs> predator chef, too. <laughs> there's only two people in the world that could do it. You got to book them years in advance. <laughs> Um, that's the other thing too, is why aren't the predators eating these things? Come on. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the other thing. Well, predator, well, I guess my question would be more, why aren't they like stringing them up like human beings? That's you know a what? good question. Give me the predator planet already. Yeah. What's that's that about? What Show me their economy. Well, what, at the, what's going on there? Well, spoiler alert, at the end of this, we do get General H.R. McMonster. <laughs> The general of the predators. Oh, the guy with the cape <laughs> and the fucking whiskers. A predator whiskers. with a cape. Yeah, I love the idea of a predator in a cape. <laughs> well, they're all that about uniforms. Of that, man, so, nothing wrong with that. A little chilly down in Antarctica. I guess I'll I'll bring the cape. I'll don a cape. <laughs> well, that's like on Star Trek, man. When you ever had like a like a Klingon dignitary, mm-hmm. it was always a fat old guy with a beard and he guaranteed had a cape on. Sometimes a sash, too, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, you got sash. sash. Up the ass. <laughs> the, the, uh, so, like, the movie kind of progresses. They're, they're fighting the alien. Uh, the, uh, you and Bremner, like, gets it. He's, like, in the alien wall. He knows he's got an alien inside of him and he's got a gun and he's, like, shooting up all these face huggers, right? He doesn't yet have one inside of him. That's oh, that's the right. Thing. Yeah, he's, like, trying to protect he, himself. He's he like, notices everybody else has a face hugger on them. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, that's so gross. <laughs> and then, like, another one hatches and he starts, like, firing wildly. Anyone it's, notice we're doing a little bit of Matrixing with the uh, face huggers as they, like, fly out? Oh, to, like, yeah. Kind of stop? Oh, sure, oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's so cool. We were only five years away from the Matrix, dude, or five years off from it, so we still love that shit. It's gross because it's to show, like, the the facehugger penis coming out. Yeah, it's not (sighs) bad. Uh, it's right, it's really it penetrates disgusting. your face. But yes. he gets a gun, he shoots one, and then he sees like all of these other ones hatching, and then you hear him firing wildly. No, 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 no. <laughs> the first bullet after that is yeah. going right into the fucking brainstem, my yep, friend. Absolutely. I'm killing myself. Yeah. I'm stuck to a wall with a bunch of fucking disgusting face hunger monsters. Yep. He has a family. I don't care. Oh my god. I gotta hear about this Scotsman's fucking family while he walks around with his cheap digital camera. Taking self selfies with a digital camera and, and he's does, like he does he does the stupid thing that normally in movies is like this one's gonna get me the pulitzer his character does the oh this will be a good one from national geographic <laughs> the scientist by the way i don't know if it was him or someone else maybe the italian guy was talking about like 
Like, oh, like this shouldn't be there. Oh, it's like finding Moses' DVD collection. Yeah, that's, that's Ewan Bremner. That's Ewan right. Bremner. Oh, oh. Yuck, dude, that's a stinker. Man. <laughs> Double it. <laughs> yeah, double. double. You, you want me to say this line? Double it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you're you and Bremner on the set of that, and they hand you that bullshit line, oh, you got to double it, brother. You know what? Honestly, because how much are you getting paid to be an AVP in the first place? But also, what a great story! I got fucking fired from <laughs> Alien vs Predator because I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, say a line about Moses DVD collection. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> um. So the Italian guy bites it. They, they're like trying to. Ju- uh, it's just down Deep to her. From and the, the Italian lion's head, guy. man. Yeah. <laughs> they they um they learn everything you could learn about this through hieroglyphs. Holy shit! And he they, just reads this wall like a Star Wars scroll. She starts t- calling the aliens serpents, which yep. is really silly. I mean, I guess it kind of makes well, sense. Well, stupid because like he says serpent because he's reading the translation from the hieroglyphics. Oh, I see. But then she just keeps saying serpent. And you're like, no, no, I, no, no, no. I kind of. Okay, I, oh, because she, she already met the predator at this point. Yeah, she, they, they went back. They went. To they high school had their meat cute. <laughs> okay, so I at this point, I actually kind of I agree with her calling it a serpent. Okay, because you've been saying when all these xenomorphs are coming, oh my god, it's a fucking alien. Oh yeah. my god, it's a fucking alien. <laughs> yeah, and then there's oh, there's another alien. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the serpent one and the person one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's a good call. Handsy. Well, they all have hands. Ah, oh, shit. Mask <laughs> and. Black serpent. Teeth. There's that teeth <laughs> alien. Oh, wait, that one has teeth, too. I was happy that the Predator keeps his uh, fishnet stocking apparel. Mm-hmm, absolutely. That, it's like a full body fishnet stocking. You know what? Apparel. And also, you're going to Antarctica, Predator. Let's get a coat on. Yeah. yeah. It's cold out there, young man. I know you're a teenager and you want to impress your friends with your stick yeah, fishnet be like, outfit. At least bring a of- cape. Like fur beetle in outer space, they could have skinned. <laughs> beetle. Well, e- even the, uh, all of our scientist friends take their hats off immediately once they get in this thing. I'm like, is there mm-hmm. ever a place in Antarctica in the world you could just take your hat off and walk around? I don't. I don't think. I don't so. think so. I probably not. Think so. Probably not. Uh, he's speaking of fucking terrible lines that should have been doubled for people to say. <laughs> How many times do we have to hear? The enemy of my enemy oh, is my friend. She says that a couple of times, doesn't Multiple she? Multiple people do. The Italian guy says it before oh, he gets really? iced. Yeah. And then she says it again, and you're just like, Jesus Christ, boy, do I get it. So she, she, the Italian guy bites it. The, her and the Predator make an uneasy alliance. So basically, they get attacked by another xenomorph. Maybe this is Grid. Maybe it's not. No, it's not Grid because he gets killed at this point. And, like, she, like, <laughs> cu- kills him with a spear. And, like, the Predator to, like... He's like, well, we're in this together now, sweetheart. And, like, he gives her a spear and, like, he uses an alien head as a gauntlet or something. A shield. It's, like a shield, yeah. it's, it's a shield. shield. He it's... shows her. She. He's like, hey, man, check it out. Like, the acid from their blood doesn't burn their own skin. skin so I'm going to make a shield out of its head so we can do battle honorably and I won't get hit with acid. This is something a predator, to, to go back to what we were talking about a while ago, like, this is something the predator should have immediately known. Yeah. And it's been like, I got I, I already have one of these. <laughs> yes. Also, I went to Cabela's. I spent a lot of money. I have the the this flak jacket made of alien skin. He's also, I mean, they've all already you know, subscribed to Hulu's workout channel. They should know <laughs> how to fight these fucking yes, things. I'm yes. sorry, but the fact that they two of the early ones got housed, yeah, and this one is still struggling for it's a real it's fucking ridiculous. amateur hour. It's real amateur hour. Here was my question. So at one point during this movie, right around now, it's fine. Uh, the the queen is freed. Yeah. From her shackles. Now, this was weird because it's all these xenomorphs like run up to her and start like what I thought was like puncturing her with their like little head tongue I things. And I was like, like, oh, they're fucking killing her. Yeah, eating the the mother. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought was happening. But well, then like it was just they were breaking away the shackles. No, like, no, I, no, no. They were just like they they hit her because she's so big. Like a couple little punctures aren't going to hurt her if they know where to do it. But let the acid eat away the metal oh, shackles and, the, and all oh, that stuff. Oh, oh man, to think I didn't understand something from <laughs> Alien Which, versus Predator. They do something very smart here, and I give you know Paul w, Paul William Sadler Anderson a <laughs> lot of credit on this one. Uh huh. When she is freed, she's freed with her sack. Uh-huh. Of babies, right? Yeah. There should be a tidal wave of vomit 
inducing oh, whatever garbage After birth and all sorts of just that. well Nasty. no if she drops oh, from yeah. the fucking oh yeah 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 it goes but no uh, uh, the predator cut. is like a lady in your condition should not be doing this ma'am 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 please <laughs> ma'am please have you ever seen the impossible <laughs> there's a wave coming and you're not going to be able to stop it <laughs> but no she she drops down she's on two feet ready to yeah. go I do, but it rips off though. I mean, it's disgusting. You don't see. I didn't see. No, no. There was a. Sh- she starts you, walking. You see and this a little thing bit of a tear. Yeah. Tears oh, off. Oh, okay. I almost I must threw right up. I, I will say, I do give this movie credit for. It's like seventy thirty puppet to CG. A lot of puppets yes. in this movie, and I'm okay. Or maybe with it. sixty forty, but you know what I mean. It's it's a lot of puppets, which I really appreciate. Yeah, I yeah. like I like puppets. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Does that carry over to Requiem? Uh, I believe so. It does carry over in uh, the new, the newest one they did, which was um, Aliens versus Predator versus Labyrinth, which is good. There's a lot of puppets in oh, that. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. And, uh, the Goblin King. <laughs> yeah, David Bowie guy. comes yeah. out. He uh, gets together with the Alien Queen. You got to see it. The Predator with the power. <laughs> dance, Xenomorph, dance. <laughs> Put the little spell on you. <laughs> All these little fucking Muppets getting iced <laughs> by fucking aliens. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh my god, that little that little uh troll guy that led uh Jennifer Connolly through the maze gets skinned alive and hung upside down. <laughs> yes. The, the predator's just like ripping the puppets out of the wall. Like oh, guts and all. <laughs> it's an egg with a power. A xenomorph power. You know. And, oh. and that goes on for a while. The, uh, <laughs> that joke could long, just go long, on long. for a bit. Um I, so basically, but the funny thing is, like, we build up all this stuff, and it's just down to her and the al- and the predator. And you're like, oh, here we go. They're gonna fuck them all up, like one by one, start murking these aliens. Yeah. But he just uses a bomb and blows up a classic, l- everybody. The classic predator self destruct mm-hmm. bomb. What a fucking coward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they talk about honor. You got this big ass bomb yeah. strike. You. Yeah, totally. That's a cheat code if I ever well, saw one that's, predator. That's the gauntlet. Like they 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 blow it up. When they're gonna die, but this dude's just like, I gotta get this off of me and throw it away. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, that, this guy's the real taking the real coward's way, but the other predators died valiantly. Like that, valiantly. that pre- like a normal, like your your regular schmegular honorable predator yeah. would be like, all right, Sonali, then like get out of here. You I'm go gonna sit here. Ship. Yeah. I'm gonna bleep bloop blop on my little wristband and blow this fucker up. Yeah. No, no, no. Take it off. Chuck it. Chuck it in the room full of the eggs. Well, he's got to catch. He's got to catch up to the queen, man. She's up to the way to the surface. Oh, right, because that's the other thing is we can't let the xenomorphs get to the surface of the we, earth. That's that's a line we say a lot. Um, there was <laughs> supposed to be a cameo if Arnold lost his runoff election for California. He right. was going to reprise his role as Dutch only. If they filmed it in his house. Only if he lost what? the election. Only if they filmed it in his house. There are predators in my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Because we, we never follow up with Dutch. Oh. I'd love to know what Dutch is up It's to. amazing that we never were able to work out bringing Dutch back to the screen. Seriously. It's so stupid. Like, come on. Oh, it's Dutch. Ugh, now there are aliens in my kitchen. <laughs> but- Wait a minute. You're not the pool boy. <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr. Wayland. Yes, that sounds interesting. I won't be joining you on this adventure. Click. But oh, let, <laughs> oh, hello, what? My wife. Oh, no, it's a predator. <laughs> yes, Mr. Wayland, I highly recommend you check out uh, what Mrs. Yutani is up to. <laughs> Put those two together. <laughs> I'm a business matchmaker. <laughs> when can you start? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so like we're trying to get out of here. This is kind of my favorite part of the movie, which is Predator on an inverse bobsled. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because they're just going up. They're shooting up this ice tunnel, and they're just on a bobsled. And Are they holding pretty- each other sensually at this point or not so much? Mm, I think they're up on the edge. Okay. Yeah, they're both. They're like side by side. Because there's yeah, a, a mutual admiration, and they're they're ready to fuck, sort of. I mean, look, I will say I would look a lot of tr- more attractive to the opposite sex if I could wear a Predator mask all the oh, time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I like, often <laughs> fantasize about just wearing that fucking mask 
nonstop. And the dreadlocks are like, oh man, it must yeah. be a really cool Jamaican guy under there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh no, it's Steve Sadak. Ew. Oh, ew. <laughs> Ooh, but so he this... still has the reptile skin. Like that. <laughs> like that. The bomb goes off. The queen is presumed dead for about eight seconds, and then she jumps back out, and like it's just it just keeps fucking going. Um, oh, but we do get a uh, a reprise of your one ugly. She said, uh, so yep. like says to the alien queen, she's like, you're one ugly mother, and then she gets like. Stopped or something. We don't. But I can't contractually say fucker here. So, yeah, it's a PG thirteen movie. Uh, so action gotta, happens. Yeah. Um, and the yeah, action happens, but basically the uh, the predator gets mortally wounded, and the alien queen gets like a harpoon through her head, and then which she is goes, pretty cool. And she goes all the way down. The only, it's like the Antarctica version of an airlock, I guess. Is, <laughs> yeah, is the bottom of the Antarctic Ocean. Yep. So she right. kind of like sinks to the bottom, but like I don't know, she could probably get out. I don't know. Yeah, well, she's right. clearly able to be frozen for an extended period of time. Yeah. So who and even start knows? shitting out babies? I don't even know if these things need oxygen. Who could know? And who could give a shit? Well, also that. <laughs> so also yeah. who problem. wins an alien versus predator? No one. Well, those, yeah. th- that's what happens is the 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 alien's dad in a cape shows the predator yeah. always like lets everything happen. Then he's like, oh, well, you boys better have had a good time <laughs> on this little adventure you had. Exactly. It's like, wait, what have you been doing? I was out to dinner with your mother this whole. Time. Oh, you done got yourself killed. You no, know, I was gonna <laughs> shave before coming here, and I'm glad I didn't because now I can tell you you're not grown up enough <laughs> to handle this. <laughs> Yeah, they all roll up and they're like, oh, oh, that's oh. pretty fast. <laughs> if you don't, what happened to my boy Celtic? <laughs> Is that Celtic in there? <laughs> Is that my Celtic in there? <laughs> Get to the chopper, which is also another predator. Isn't that weird? <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's dead. Oh, well, so then the, the, all these other predators, like dad predator comes down, and they don't kill her because she's got, like, the family crest, like, tattooed on her face. The scar, well, the the, uh, the predator, after she, like, helps out or whatever, he takes off his mask, and she's like, oh, God, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I thought you were, like, hot under there. Yeah. She like- does a pretty good, uh, like... Not flawless, because you can tell, but a pretty good job of choking back vomit. <laughs> oh my he, takes, he takes some of the acid blood in one of his pointy little fingers and like rubs it on her face to burn a little to give her yeah. also a scar. Yeah, so now she's so part he, of the fam. He lives on forever. That's got to be really disappointing for her, because she's like, look at this dude. He's like really buff. Like yeah. He's in great shape. He's, kill- mm-hmm. he's saving her. And stuff. Yeah. He's got a flipper dick for all she Yeah, <laughs> she's like, oh, man. Under the- she's like, I can make this work. It takes that mask off. Yeah. I can't make this uh-huh. work. Yeah. I, I don't know. Angry Georgia O'Keefe painting? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God. So they just like take this little predator. Who knows what he writes on her face, by the way. It could be a really lewd joke in predator language. Also, how do you know it's not going to go deeper? Mm -hmm. Like just a little thing of it. Oh, my eye. He luckily used just enough xenomorph acid blood, I feel, is what happened. At some point, uh, Scar, who's this predator, does get a face hugger. And it's a weird cut because it like... You forget about it. You kind of lose track of which predator is which at that point. Well, you sure do. In the uh, early part, before the two get. Oh, wait. Is it the left-handed one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Celtic. So. Oh. Honey, 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 honey. I think we got a left-handed predator. <laughs> get my tapes and my books. <laughs> and, my book. and my toilets. <laughs> uh, is that those Domino's coupons or what? <laughs> <laughs> Bring me the Domino's and the bedpan. It's going to be a long night. Oh. But the, the last shot of the movie right. is on the ship. It's it's, it's kind of like the end of Empire Strikes Back. You get this like nice vista of this ruined <laughs> planet, which is Earth. And Two then, predators hold hands. And, yeah, <laughs> uh, looking out of the blackness. How you met me at a really weird time in my life. <laughs> oh no! And all the the xenomorph credit buildings explode. <laughs> Predator Black, I guess, would be. The, I don't know. Bob, Bob had witch tits. <laughs> But uh, the last shot is a predator alien, which is I could have used about an hour and a half ago. Sure, the little the little guy bursts out of the predator's chest and does a predator version of a bebedee. But that's all, folks, <laughs> because on. it's just it's like you see you see this predator laid out, and you're like, I know what's coming, man. Uh, you know, I know what's. Just fuck, come on, Paul W.S. Anderson. Just come on. Just, just do, do it. it. Come on. So then we cut in closer, and it pops out like, and it's so close, and it's like, hello. Well, it's, it's that scene from Spaceballs yeah, at that yep. point. Yeah. yeah, you're totally, yep. And then it's just, that's it. That's the end of the movie. Well, it's got like predator teeth things. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, yeah, I didn't even pick a, up on that. Because it's terribly done. Ah. Yeah, yeah. who cares? I mean, honestly. <laughs> you can you can put a fucking alien. How did an alien not already put it in a predator at some point? Yeah. <laughs> put it in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and so that's, yeah, we cut to black, and that's the end of this Paul W.S. Anderson masterpiece. Uh, yeah. Would anybody recommend it? I would not. It's really a close, it's pretty close to a hangover movie, I will say. Uh-huh. Uh, I do like the puppetry, and it is super ignorable. So I think it's 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 a vague hangover movie recommend for me. Steve's wrong. Um, <laughs> sure, uh, I, it's it's a real nothing movie. I give uh, it that. There's nothing to this movie. It, it, there's nothing going. I mean, I was so bored. Like I paused it at an hour in. I was like, "How do you have forty four minutes of this still? To t- <laughs> what are you doing?" Like, and I then I pieced it all together, remembering it from memory yeah um, did you see this in theaters did anybody i, did. See this in I theaters? saw this in theaters no. i did i did nope. did we see this together maybe you guys That's take possible. your family to it at the movie theater you take a day off <laughs> come on cooter <laughs> sawyer damien <Cabin>. <laughs> <laughs> uh mr siska uh, i don't think i saw this in the theater uh, i could be wrong um but uh no i wouldn't recommend it i can see what steve's getting at I can understand he's, it. He's grasping at in the dark. I yeah. can understand it. I mean, sure. if you're curious uh, and hungover, other mm-hmm. other than that, no. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I see what Steve's saying. I just, I, I really dislike this movie more so because I think uh, AVP Requiem is a total recommend. I still need to see that movie. It's a total, total recommend, and I, that's like a solid hangover movie. Mm-hmm. You're in and you're out. People are getting fucking butchered left and right. And is it a, you're seeing it all. Is it a stay tuned, do you think? Uh, it's possible that it's a stay tuned. Okay. I don't know. Well, we're doing this for Alien Covenant. Maybe the next time, the next time mm-hmm. uh, the, there is that Predator movie coming out, actually. Uh, oh, Shane yeah. Shane Black. Oh, uh, that's right. He's directing and writing? Uh, yes. Uh, I think it's going to be good. Is there going to be a Dutch in it? Uh, I think the Dutch in it is, uh, 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 what's his name there? Holbrook's son. Oh, Boyd Holbrook? Yeah, I think Oh, he's, he's good. Well, see, that would be cool, though, because that's how you get fucking Arnold back in the franchise, man. It's when like, can Bol- I start? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Didn't he turn it down? He turned it down. Oh, what God. is he turning down anything yeah. for? I only want to be associated with the skeleton monster, the, the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> I almost feel like it's monsters. that. It's like, he's just like, no Predators, yes, Terminators, anything Terminators, yes. Mm-hmm. We could do a Commando, no. too. I would love a commando too, like an old, yeah, old commando, old John Matrix coming yes, out. Yes, dude. You know, yeah, like Eliza like, Dishku's still around. She could reprise her role. Or no, she, wait, oh, who's the daughter in that? That was one? True Lies. Yeah, saying. who's the daughter? Uh, I don't Alyssa remember. Alyssa Milano, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And she's around. She's certainly around. Yeah. Definitely. And yeah, totally. They need to do commando too. Well, so when is this Predator whatever coming out? And it's just a boot. We're just calling it Predator. It's a reboot. Is or, that I think idea? it's The Predator. The maybe. Predator. I think. Oh, it's now we're I think fucking it's Fast and Furious with all this next shit. Next summer. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm pretty we'll, sure. We'll be there for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's Alien versus Predator AVP to you fans out there. If you want more We Hate Movies, check out whmpodcast.com or find us over at the HeadGum Network page. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. We are at WHM Podcast. And of course, right into the mailbag, we all hate movies at gmail.com. Rate and review the show wherever you get it. Uh, we would greatly appreciate that. It helps the exposure of this program. This, yes. Yeah. This fine program. It helps great, especially right. with our ego. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, our it, combined it, ego. It also honestly rise, like raises oh, our yeah, profile in the iTunes store sure. so more people can discover the show. So if you did that, it would be actually really great and not just about your fucking ego, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash We Hey Movies. Subscribe for monthly bonus material there, of course. Uh, and then what do we got going on next week? Ninja 3, The <laughs> Domination. Oh. Which is a total recommend, by Big the time. way. Big time. Watch yeah. it before the episode. Yes. I can't state that enough. Watch Ninja 3, The Domination. Or just watch it and don't listen to our episode. Download it so we yeah. get the number. But oh, yeah, I, I mean, honestly, that movie is so damn good. J- download it twice. I <laughs> yes. <laughs> download it three times. Delete, d- Download, delete, download again. Thanks. Ooh, do some download, deleting. I like this idea. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to get in trouble with the podcast police. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Apple? <laughs> oh, don't sh- so until next week, when we venture into the world of canon films, I'm Andrew Jupin versus Steven Sadak versus Chris Cabin versus Eric Siska. Take it easy. That 
Sie Hate Gum Podcast. <lacht>